Hey guys, in this video we are going to be creating forms in uh, to Titanium Mobile or Titanium Studio or whatever you want to call it using JavaScript. Now, uh, firstly let's create our window like always ti.ui.create uh, window and inside that uh, let's change the background uh, color to yellow and semicolon and what we're going to do is create our view like usual create view nothing inside and now we are going to create a text field for the purpose of this video we are just going to be creating a simple text field so our text field equals or you can just like put it short for tf or t field or whatever you fancy tie.ui.create text uh, field inside that we are going to add a couple of options. Let's change the color to. Uh, oops, oops. What's this? Color to I don't know three 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 somewhere around that. Uh, let's do the hint text. The hint text is like one of those uh, default. Uh, what do you call it? Text that's inside your inside the text field, which gets like deleted or it disappears once you focus on it or once you click on that text field so hint text is going to be your like first name something like that and let's change let's change the height or set the height of our text field to you know, 35 40 ish and the top is going to be 10 10 pixels from the top and it's about 10 pixels from the left and we could set the width about 250 so that it's not too small and what we could do is actually no let's do that next time and let's actually try simulating it to see what it looks like now no it's not going to work stop because we haven't even add the text field to our view and stuff so let's do view dot add text field field and view dot add uh, Win dot add view and then win dot open. Okay, so let's see what we've done so far using our iPhone simulator. It's launching. God, hope. Oh, that was really quick. Our iPhone simulator's up <coughs> and it's launching the app. It started, and there we go, we have our first name. However, we although we've got that hinted text over here so we've got this up and we've got the what do you call it the default keyboard that gets displayed and like say pony or something like that we've got a pony and the hint text disappears however we can't really see like the borders of our form so it doesn't really look nice so what we're going to do is add borders to our text field so let's go back to our text field over here and underneath the width we oops i forgot this and like it was supposed to be that i don't know how it works but i did okay let's add a border style and say tie dot ui dot input underscore and border style rounded Yep, tie dot ui dot input underscore border stand is all rounded. Yep, that's the correct way I think. Now, uh, let's just finish our app. We're going to create a button so that when we uh, create, when we input something and press submit, it's going to I don't know pop up an alert box or something. Tie dot ui dot create button. And inside our button, let's call it submit and the top could be a hundred bit away from the text box left could be I don't know 10 so that's in line with the text text field the width could be a hundred and the height could be about 50 yep and let's create button dot oh I've got the equals so many typos button dot add event listener add event listener nope that's fine and it's going to be a click and the usual function e 
and inside that, yeah, we could do like alert tf dot tf actually text. Whoops, text field dot which is the variable name dot, and we're going to use a method called get value, which gets the value of our uh, input. And there we go. Now let's go down a bit, give it some space. And what do we have? We've got view dot add text field. And what we need to do is do view dot add button. And then we add window add view and window open. So hopefully this is fine now. It's launching. I don't know what to talk about in this like time. I don't know. It's launching the app. And there we go. We have a nice rounded uh what should you say? Text field border. There's loads of uh, different input underscore border style and it doesn't have to be rounded, there's loads and loads of different ones. And if you want to look at everything, you can go to the uh, API doc, API doc is your friend, and search for your favourite one. And we also have a nice submit button. So let's click on the first name, and then let's say, I don't know, John. And we can see once we start typing that... Uh, hint text which was the first name disappears and let's submit and there we go alert and it came back with our input which in this case is John now over here in our ad event listener what we normally do is like we have loads of text field first name last name email address I don't know comment or something and then once you the user press submit the event listener is going to I don't know send that as an email or store it as a data in your uh, SQL or, or your database or something. However, uh, for the purpose of this video, all we're going to do is use uh, use the alert to display and say that look, we actually got the value and it's fully working. So there we go.